Okay, so here's an example of an unbalanced redox reaction that we're going to balance. Alright, so first, we recognize that it's a redox reaction. Well, how do we recognize it if we don't know the charge, right? Well, probably you don't know, or probably you do. But, we take the charge. And how do we do that? Well, we can take each element and call it X and then we add its charge which we don't know which is X right and there's one of them and we add that to oxygen which ha which is four oxygens and we know that the charge of oxygen is negative two so we add four negative twos because one oxygen has a charge of negative two and that equals the net charge of the whole ion which is negative one and then we just solve for x and so x minus eight equals negative one and we add eight to that side and that's positive seven so x equals positive seven so the charge of F mn here is positive seven and then we move on to the next element we have to do this for all the elements in the reaction okay isn't this fun so we, c we can call C X and we add three ones because hydrogen has a plus one charge and then we add an one oxygen's charge which is two negative two and then we add a hydrogen charge which is one and that equals a total net charge of zero up there okay and then we just solve for X again three X plus three pl or minus two sorry minus 2 plus 1 equals 0. 3 minus 2 is 1, plus 1 is 2. 2x two plus 2 equals 0. So x is negative 2. So the charge of carbon here is negative 2. Alright? And then we don't really have to do that for mn on this side of the equation because it's already there. So you don't have to do all that fancy algebra work. So there's plus two charge for Mn there. Okay? And then for carbon here, go x plus one minus four. One minus four is three. Plus one is negative two. And that equals zero. So x is two. Alright? So we've done our first steps. Now we have to break it into half reactions. Ba -ba -bum. Half reactions. This is where the magic happens. So we make one for each element that's being one that's for oxidation and one that's for reduction. And we don't really need to know which one's being oxidized and which one's being reduced because we're going to simplify it later into a balanced redox reaction. Okay? So, first we're going to do MN. So, MN goes from MnO4 minus, and it produces MN2 plus. Okay? So, the first thing we're going to do is balance all the elements except for hydrogen and oxygen. Well, there's one MN here, and one MN here, we're balanced. The next thing oh, excuse me, is to balance the charges of the elements using electrons. And as you can see, there's seven here. There's a plus seven charge here and a plus two charge here. So um, seven is greater than two um, by five, right? Seven is greater by five than two. That made a lot of sense. So... Wait, so 7 is greater by 5 than 2. So we add 5 electrons because it's 5 greater than 2. And then check it. Um, 7 minus 5, that's the charge, right? 7 minus 5 is 2. So the charge of the MN on this side is 2. And this, uh, um, two it's also 2 on this side. Sorry. Ugh. Okay, so that's done. Now we have to balance the charges of the whole sides using hydrogen ions 
and we only use hydrogen ions because this is an acidic oh wow that was bad well it's an acidic reaction okay so we use hydrogen ions if it was a basic um, reaction we use hydroxide ions and I'm gonna do that in another video so um, we look at the charge of the whole sides for this it's negative 5 minus 1 which is negative 6 and this charge on this side is plus 2 so that's not balanced right so in order for us to do that we have to cancel out the negative 6 charge on here with 6 hydrogen ions plus 2 hydrogen ions so we do 8 hydrogen ions okay <clears throat> now the hydrogens and the oxygens aren't balanced so we have to balance those there's four oxygens on this side so let's go add four hydro or waters on this side so that there's four oxygens and eight hydrogens bam we just balanced our first half reaction next we do the next half reaction so this is for carbon CH3OH and HCO2H alright so what we do is we do the same thing here we balance the carbons first and there's one carbon here one carbon here we're balanced with that the next thing we're gonna do number two is to balance the charges of the elements using electrons well we have a negative two for carbon on this side and a plus two on this side so let's add four electrons on this side okay now the third thing we're gonna do is balance um, the whole sides using hydrogen ions well this has a zero charge and this has a negative four charge okay so we add four hydrogen ions or protons and then we balance the hydrogens and the oxygens well I happen to know that one water will balance the whole equation um, there's two five six hydrogens here one two three four five six hydrogens here here we go and then for carbon there's er, for oxygen I mean there's one two and there's one two two oxygens there so we're balanced with the half reactions now what well now that we're done with the half reactions we have to to make them into a whole reaction again okay so we can't add them if the electrons are different numbers um, for instance this one has four electrons and this one has five electrons there's a problem there they have to equal each other and how do you do that well we multiply hooray for multiplying okay so we multiply this whole side by four and this whole side by five and then we're gonna get the same numbers of electrons okay